is up guys, it's Coach Frisbee from FAST here and I'm back with our last week of movement in November. This week's movement emphasis is going to be backward multi-direction. Now backward multi-direction is just like forward multi-direction and what I mean by that is that you, you still need to have the same type of abilities. You still need to be able to accept, absorb, and redirect your force. You're just coming out of a back pedal motion. Now backward multi-direction comes in many components. I'll share just a few of the movements that we do for our athletes here at FAST. First one is that we'll have our athletes go into a back pedal movement and break at a zero degree angle. We'll also work out of that at a 45 as well as a 90 degree angle. And when we wanna get the hips abducted and the trunk rotated, we'll start cutting at 130, 180 degrees out of the back pedal movement. Another component we do with our athletes is called an angle pedal. You may see this with the athlete kind of like a defensive back shadowing a, a receiver upfield, as well as a basketball player and defender kind of moving lateral as they move backwards. And the last emphasis I'd like to share with you guys that we do for our back pedal series is called back lateral run. You may see this with the outfielder in baseball looking back over his shoulder as he tries to track a, a fly ball, as well as a linebacker looking over his shoulder. So there's many different components to backward multi-direction. All right guys, so stay tuned all week for all the content that relates to our backward multi-direction. Starting tomorrow, I'll be pointing out some of the rate limiting factors that can inhibit this movement. So stay tuned, I'll talk to you soon.